All right, guys, so this is going to be sort of a big video. We've got a lot of things to talk about. Um, you're probably noticing this is a video, and it's been a while since I've done any of those. Um, if you've played the server, if you've really just been keeping up with it, you'll know that, you know, if things have sort of slowed down, we've... Um, I, I don't know the best words to use to describe the situation, but in short, uh, morale is low, and everyone's sort of lost interest. So um, this update itself took a long time to upload. I said that it was going to be released on the 1st, and it is now the 8th when it is being uploaded or updated, so uh, we've been had a lot of setbacks, and um, it's really just my fault. I, I, I'll be 100% honest with you. After the invention uh, was sort of, after the disappointment after invention, it, it just kind of, it killed my motivation to do anything with the server. Uh, I, I don't want to quit or give up, so don't panic, but playing it, has been just kind of difficult to do, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I put a lot of uh, stake in invention. Uh, if you, I, I tell the story all the time, but back in the day when we were really struggling to get players and we had, you know, pretty much no one, and the day before we ended up like making a comeback, I was about to quit. And the thing that kept me going the entire time was invention, because I really liked the idea and I thought it had a lot of potential. I wanted to see it through, and then if it was a failure, then, you know. Whatever, but I at least wanted to get it done. And I want to attempt it, so I'm really happy with it. We did do it, and um, the thing that really sucked was sort of the reactions to it. I knew that people were, might be really hesitant, to, you know, to like it because it is RS3 stuff, and a lot of people just assume RS3 is bad without ever actually looking into any of it. And um, it is kind of a confusing skill. It's considered an elite skill on RuneScape 3, and it is kind of confusing, especially if you have no clue how to do any of it. Uh, I remember doing our, uh, the invention on RS3, and it was, you know, indeed confusing. So I knew that that was going to be an issue, but I thought people were going to uh, at least try it. I figured that's the thing that people would do. They'd at least give it a try or, or, or um, look into it. No, that was not the case at all. 90% of the people whined and complained, Oh, this is fucking gay. This is the worst thing that's ever happened in my life. I'm going to kill myself, blah, 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 blah. Just a ton of whining and complaining and really just killed my motivation to play the server anymore or to be involved. Um, and it's since got a little bit better now that there's more information. And I'll admit that there were, you know, issues. Uh, for example, it was way too expensive at the when it first came out. Um, we, I had a, I can't remember who, which staff member did it. And I'm not blaming them, but I had them check a couple banks. Um, I think they checked about 15 people or so. And we were just kind of trying to get the, the average wealth of the players at that time. Uh, and we sort of, I, I guess we overestimated how much money people had. I thought the numbers that I were doing were, 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 were they were definitely expensive. I, I, I was definitely making it more expensive than not, but uh, it was way too expensive off the start. So I did remedy that. I lowered a lot of the prices. I added high alk for 50% of your money back, and then I added the experiments, and then this um, Thanksgiving event was very good for cash. So I think I've made enough improvements to sort of justify that. John made an invention guide, which I'll link in this, this video. And it's pretty good. I would recommend checking that out if you're still not sure if you want more tips. So after putting all of that you know, time and effort into something and having no one like it, it just really sucked. And um, we've done a couple updates since then. We did have the Thanksgiving event. I'm happy that everybody liked the Thanksgiving event. Thanksgiving event was cool. Um, that was mostly Smoke's idea, so a lot of credit to him. And uh, it just, it's just been tough lately, and that's the short answer to it. I know the... I know what our problem is. People keep trying to figure out, oh, is it this, is it that? I know exactly what the problem is. Um, and obviously there's little problems, but the big problem is the one we have to focus on, so that way we can work on the little ones. And the big problem right now is me trying to get back into the rhythm of things. And um, so, you know, I've been talking with everybody. We've been trying to figure out what the best way to do it is. And um, so what we're doing is this update was just released. So I'll talk about that in a second. I'll talk about what the update is. You can tell from the title, it's Dual Arena. So I apologize that it's been four minutes in this video and I haven't even mentioned it. Um... And then I'm going to work on the Santa, the Christmas event tonight and probably tomorrow because I don't think I'll finish it tonight. And then from that point on, I'm going to take a week or so break. And from that entire week, I'm not going to do anything with the server. Um, I'm not going to talk to people. I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to go on a vacation. And then hopefully on the 15th, when the Christmas event is going to be released, I'll be refreshed and I'll be ready to go back into it. Now, in that time I'm gone, I do want to actually play the server. That's sort of the problem is when I don't want to play the server, that's when it becomes an issue, because I think playing the server is way more important than other people might think it is. I, I, I know most other owners don't play their servers, because 
they don't really care. They're running it like a business. So everything they do is, is geared more towards making money. So they don't really have to play the server to do anything like that. Um, and playing the server myself, it really helps, you know, figure out what's, what's lacking, what needs improved, what's too good, what's too bad. And uh, I, I think another thing is because the server is sort of built from YouTubers, um, myself and John, we're YouTubers, and I'm sure a lot of you, you know, if you're watching this video, obviously you're familiar with the YouTube. Um, and I, I think interacting with the two of us and, and us playing is definitely part of it. So uh, I do want to play, and even though, and it, you know, I said I wasn't going to be around the server. I just meant like in terms of like owning it or or, or any staff management related things. I'm just going to put my faith in Matt. Matt, Matt, and Smoke can handle it. They're fine. They, all the staff team, they're fine. They can handle it. Um, and then this update should hopefully smooth people over until the 15th. And the 15th will be the Christmas event, which is actually going to be pretty cool. I'll talk about that a little bit more later. I don't want to... I don't want to... I've already sort of told my ideas to people, but I don't want to tell them anymore. Uh, you know, I want to leave some sort of mystery so people can figure it out and whatnot. Uh, but that should be fun. So, uh, that's the current plan. In terms of the server going down, I know there's a rumor right now that the server's uh, going to go down. That's not true. We're paid in advance a couple of months. The, the server's not going down. Now, I'm not going to lie and say that everything's perfect, but it's not, it's not going to go down. We're... I'm not giving up. We've come too far. Everybody, everybody, like not even just myself, everyone who's played the game, who has worked on it and, and, and put any effort towards the community and whatnot, they, it, we've, we've worked too hard. This is, this is my server. This is the best server that I've had so far. Uh, I think everybody can say that. Because we've been around for six months now, which is about the same time as Dark Asylum. Um, I think the difference here is there's a lot more optimism that this is going to last. Um, and I know right now it's a dark period where everyone thinks it might go down, but overall there's more optimism that this will last. I, and it, there's no reason it shouldn't, because obviously everything's fine in terms of problems we can fix. Now, I'm not saying everything's fine as in everything's okay, I just mean everything is fine as in all the problems we, we know how to fix. And uh, just with time and effort. Um, my motto now is time heals all wounds, and that's... That's very true if you really think about it. So, enough of that rambling. I got a couple other things to talk about. Look at me a long video, so I'm gonna throw a sneaky giveaway in here, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and do a real sneaky one. So, you gotta keep watching. Uh, so let's get on with the update. Uh, main thing, Duel Arena. That's the title. So, yeah. Um, it seemed like most people just gambled anyways, and they just keep scamming each other. I think there's like six scam posts right now. Staking in the wilderness is at your own risk. I don't care what happens. You can scam people. Under certain circumstances, I might intervene, but consider it completely at your own risk. Um, I, I don't want anything to do with it. And people don't care. They'll, they'll, they would rather just get scammed than not gamble. Like, having to gamble, um, you know, they just, it just, it's just required. So we added it. Um, we're still testing it out. We're still figuring out what to do. Right now, it's just staking. We'll see how this goes. We'll make improvements here and there. Um, in terms of how to get staking, you need 1,000 total level. So you do have to play the game a little bit. Uh, you need 250 mil cash. Uh, it's a one-time fee to get the gambler rank. You just do coin coin purchase. And then every stake you do can be only coins or platinum tokens. And then there is a 10% tax. Now, I've, I've, I've had a couple conversations about the 10% tax. We might lower it. Uh, that's just for now. We'll see what happens. We'll see how everything plays out. Um, so that's that. That's fun. There's a couple weird, you know, quirks here and there that people are still, we're still messing around with it. We're still testing it and whatnot. And um, I, I would just say, like, if you do plan to stake right away, I would try to avoid bigger stakes until everything is, is you know, ironed out, peachy, you know, peachy clean and whatnot. Because something like staking is hard to test because I don't want to just sit there and stake myself a billion times. I'll be honest with you. I just don't want to do that. So <laughs> I would figured, you know, put it in the live game and let everybody else test it. Um, so... Just be very careful with it. So far, I haven't noticed any issues like where you lose money or anything like that. No, no dupes or anything like that. Dark did do it. It's This was called by Dark, not me. Um, so I've got a lot of faith in it. We'll, we'll figure out all the problems. I think right now everything is minor stuff that we can work on. Uh, in terms of other updates, uh, PK Shop was added. I like it. If you have any thoughts on that, have at it. Uh, just a lot of fixes here and there. Um... Uh, cave nightshades are stackable, a couple improvements to contributor zone. Magic pearls are now in game. Basically, it's a magic oyster, but for master clues. And the only way to get it is from master clues. So you have to do master clues to get it. So it's not like you can just buy it or anything like that. But a um, couple of minor fixes. You can also make a lucky amulet of torture and a lucky amulet of anguish or necklace of anguish. And then a couple other just, you know, minor things here and there. The Thanksgiving event is over. You can use a knife on your chicken pieces to receive 50 donator credits. Uh, so that is that for the update. 
and that will be in the description as well. Uh, in terms of APUG, people are wondering what's going on with the videos. APUG is like my main account, so almost all videos I do are on that account. The issue is John and I have started a new series, and I'm not going to talk about that a whole lot. Although I've talked about it in game, I it's raids from scratch. We're working on that, and uh, you'll see the first episode whenever you see the first episode. So that's uh, taken sort of a lot of focus on there. Uh, but I do want to continue other videos, because I do like those Worth It videos. I really like the idea of it, and people seem to enjoy those videos. They're fine. So I'll probably do some more of those on like this account, and I'll just do them uh, a little differently. But I do I do like the idea of that, so we'll, we'll continue with that. Um, uh, the giveaway, the giveaway for the $100... Let me do that now. Um, the charity event is done. Uh, we've got the results for that. So we raised $210. So just big thank you to everybody who joined that and who participated in that and were involved in that. Uh, something we never done before. And we weren't entirely sure how it was going to go. And we, we probably didn't do it the best way we could have. But we learned a lot from it. Um, and we're, we're, we're definitely going to do another one very, very soon. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, and the winner for that giveaway for the custom item was Sam. So S-A-M, you are the winner. Now, uh, with my giveaways, you got to come to me. I don't come to you, you come to me. And the reason I do that is because I don't want people who just, you know, enter the giveaway to win. Now, this one was a little different because obviously you donated to charity, so I don't mind who, I don't, I don't really care who wins. I just want to make sure it's going to go to somebody who actually cares about it and would use it. So if he doesn't claim after, I'll, I'll give him like a month or two, I'll re-roll it. Uh, so let me real quick do the $100 giveaway. So we had a hundred or eighty-nine responses. I think there's a lot of IPs in here, so I'm just gonna pause. All right, so we're actually gonna have uh, eighty-seven people. So, yeah. Zora. <laughs> so, Zora is the winner. Uh, I don't know if he still plays, but I'm sure he'll watch this video. So, hi Zora, you win the hundred dollars. So I did say I'd do a sneaky little video or a sneaky little uh, giveaway. Uh, you gotta PM me on the forums. No, don't PM me on the forums now. Um, uh, just PM me. Uh, PM me on on YouTube. We'll do that again. I've done that before, and I think I got like 15 PMs. So it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty exclusive giveaway. Most people don't watch the video that long, or they close off towards the end. So, um, yeah, just PM me any your username on YouTube. And uh, you'll have a chance to win. Uh, how about a twenty-five dollar bond? We'll do a twenty-five dollar bond. PM me if I chance to win a twenty-five dollar bond. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are still interested in the server. You know, I know things have been rough, but we're we're moving. We're we're working. We're moving past it. Don't think of the server as uh, in the now. You know, the server isn't a, a thing that exists right now. It's a thing that is going to keep growing and evolving and changing. Hopefully for the better, but probably sometimes for the worse. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.